Today's story from the Bible. Can anyone remember what book of the Bible we're doing? Huey, do you remember? Matt? 1914 is our memory verse. Well done. And we're in the book of Matthew. And we've got to an exciting bit in the book because it's one of the most exciting days for the Jewish people. So you are going to have to do lots of imagining, okay? And kids are good at imagining, so this should be totally fine for you. So I want everyone to close their eyes and you have to imagine that you are the kids in this story because there's lots of kids in this story. They play a key part. So you're going to imagine that you are these kids and I'm going to get Millie and Seamus to come and just go behind the curtain. They're going to come out at some point. Okay, everyone close your eyes and you're imagining, imagining, imagining. Okay, what you are imagining is every night when you go to bed, your parents tell you the same story. And they tell you the same story that their parents told to them. And they tell you the same story that your grandparents were told when they were kids. And for generations and generations and generations, your family has been telling the same story over and over and over again. They have been telling you, we are waiting for the king to come. And they've been telling you what the signs are that you can look for so you'll know that he's the king when he arrives, that he will be coming into Jerusalem riding on a donkey, that lame people, people whose legs don't work, will suddenly be walking again, that blind people who can't see out of their eyes, they'll be able to see again, that he will make sick people well and that he will do all sorts of other things. <clears throat> and for hundreds of years, hundreds and hundreds of years, you and your family have been waiting for exactly the same thing. You have been waiting for the day when the king arrives. So now I want you to imagine that someone has told you, the thing we've been waiting for for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, it's finally happening, it's happening today. And he's coming. Okay, so stand up. I want you to imagine how excited you would be. In the Bible story, it tells us that the children were shouting and jumping and leaping around. That's how excited they were in the Bible story. So when you see imagining, remember we're doing lots of imagining, but when you see someone come out, Jesus come out riding on a donkey, imagining, I want you to leap and jump and yell and get very excited. Okay, are you ready? I don't think you all look like you're very energetic, so we might do a little practice. So let's practice being as excited as you've ever been in your whole life. Ready, set, go. Okay, I want you to do that, but times like a hundred. Snars, I don't know what Christmas is like at your house, but that's not as excited as we want to be. Okay, so step it up. So even more excited. So remember, you've been waiting for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, and finally, we can see him. Here comes Jesus on the donkey. Jesus and the donkey, please come out now. <laughs> Here he comes, we're excited! Ah! <laughs> okay, here he comes and he's riding past and we're cheering and we're excited! Okay, thank you, Jesus and the donkey. Okay, so that took a little bit of imagining, but let's sit down because do you know what? That was probably the most exciting day in those kids' life to see the king that you've been waiting for, for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years and that you've been hearing about every night of your life and your parents have been hearing about and everyone was excited. Okay, so it was an exciting day and do you know what? Just like the children in the story all those thousands of years ago, it's an exciting day for us too because Jesus is not just their king. When they saw him coming and they were cheering, but he's our king too. And he's your king. And if he's your king, I want you to remember two things this week, okay? That he's your king and he loves you very much. And if he's the king, then he's the boss, okay? So then you can read in the Bible all the things he wants us to do and all the reasons why we can love him. But he is your king, so I want you to remember that. And secondly, the thing that you need to do is ask your parents, well, what are we waiting for now? Jesus has come to earth and he brought the kingdom with him and he's the king now. So what are we waiting for next? So we're not talking about that this week, but that is something you can ask your parents. What are we waiting for as Jesus' people now? Okay? So let's pray together. 
and thank Jesus that he's our king and he loves us. And you can keep imagining being those children in the story while Bernard's talking and while we listen to the Bible reading. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you are our king. Thank you that when you came to earth, you didn't just come for the children who were watching you on that day, but you came to these kids here now and all of us too. Thank you, Lord, that you love us, that you are our king, and help us, Lord, to be people who treat you like the king and do what you say and try to please you in every way. Amen. Amen.